Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. You've joined us in an extremely harshly backlit quarry where we've waited for the sun to hit its lowest point in the sky so we can use it to film glass cracks at insane speeds. Yeah, we're going to be comparing the speed of the glass cracking to the speed of a bullet and see how fast they travel. A nice little visual representation. Yeah, we filmed bullets before and we filmed glass before and we figured out how fast they are. We've always put that information in the video, but it's usually just a number on a screen and that doesn't really mean a lot when you're only looking at one thing. It's going to be next to impossible to fire a gun and simultaneously break a piece of glass. So we're going to film them separately and then in the edit, I'll combine the shots together so you actually see the glass and the bullet moving side by side and we'll see who wins. We're also going to put some foot markers on the glass and this is exactly six feet here so we'll be able to measure the speed of both the things we're measuring. We'll also be using the TMX 7510 because it's a ridiculous beast. <laughs> <laughs> I think on that, <laughs> let's get to it. Let's go. I uh, sort of started losing my breath as I said, we're going to be measuring the <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Lovely. Six feet of glass marked by these poles. You see how it touches the wood there? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not half bad. We've done well there. Cheers. Especially on a table that is um, it's just not, hinged. Yeah, it's hinged. It's just not straight. It's, it's not straight. It's not straight at all. So first we'll have you break the glass. I'll quickly save it. And then before the light changes too much, we'll have you fire a bullet above where the glass was. Mm -hmm. And then we'll combine them. Ready to go at around 80,000 frames a second. Goggles on? Yeah. Gloves on? Yeah. Go for it. Explodes, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go and get the gun. Ready? Yep. Safe. All right, which should we, which should we watch first? So, uh, let's do bullet, seeing as you've got it. Oh, wow, you can see shot that. <laughs> that's cool. That's pretty slow. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, taking its time. Leisurely pace there. Look at yeah. the smoke so far behind. Yeah, never, never catch it up. All right, let's look at the glass. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, oh it's way faster that's so than the bullet. Much faster. The glass annihilated the bullet. I thought you were fast forwarding it for a second. No, <laughs> that's the actual speed. That's the same speed as the bullet in terms of frame rate. Look at it explodes, doesn't it? It left the bullet in the dust. See ya. That's incredible. What a great comparison. Yeah, it just really shows you. Uh, it's, it's like it's one thing, like I assume that'd be the case based on the numbers we were seeing last time. But it's one thing to see numbers and then just to see it, uh, that's what on it the same like. frame. It's like. I'm, I think I'm right in saying that the pistol bullet travels faster than the speed of sound in air. Right. And the speed of glass cracking is the speed of sound within glass. Yeah, because I think in, in the last video I put like Mach 3 or something, but it's that's if it was in air. Yeah. But the, the crack is in glass, so it's, it's just so, Mach 1. So technically that means that the glass cracks at the speed of sound and the bullet travels faster than the speed of sound, but the glass travels way faster than the bullet does. Because yeah. of the different speeds of sound. Yeah, different, uh, different mediums to travel through therefore different speeds of sound through them. All right, well, we basically have our answer from that footage there, but we do have more panes of glass and we could make better use of this camera. So instead of all this wasted space from our previous frame, I've cropped the image all the way down. So it's 1280 by 256. And it's pretty much the exact size of this piece of glass. Slight issue in that we can't see the bullet go over the top anymore because that's cropped away. So we'll have the bullet go behind the glass and then maybe in post, because we know the glass is faster, when the bullet is around here, I'll have the glass play and you'll see it catch up in relation to the bullet on the same plane. That might be interesting. Uh, do you want to see if we can guess, take turns in guessing where the bullet will get to before it, do you know what I mean? Like where you have to stop it. You mean if we want them to if land, we want to land, land the exactly time. there at the same time, where do you think the bullet's going to be on the I think piece the of the bullet glass? will be about here. You reckon there? Yeah. Okay, let's mark that with a piece of, piece of this. You reckon like here? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do a classic here. Price is right, <laughs> bloody hell. 
Outrageous. <laughs> Absolutely outrageous. Absolutely mugged you off there. You mugged me right off. I'm gonna get behind you. Safe. So, God, did you hear the noise it made on the glass? Yeah, I, I also saw the glass ripple. Did you? Yeah. With the shockwave. We didn't realize this at the time, but this bullet is moving so close to the speed of sound, it's, a, it's slightly faster. So that means we're effectively looking at two speeds of sound in the same frame. I think that was a very interesting visual comparison. And it's interesting because... Sorry, I'm just using my eyebrow to shield the sun. Oh, you got a, a big enough eyebrow. I do have some bushy wings on me. Do you remember when we did on the Super Slow Show, we, we raced different kinds of bullets? Yeah. And the 9mm was like one of the slowest ones yeah. that we did. It'd be interesting to revisit this with a really fast bullet and see if there is a bullet that goes faster than glass. Wow. That would have to be some bullet. I can tell you now, I don't think there is. Mm. But uh, it would be interesting again to see the comparison, yeah. But it's so much, it's like an order of magnitude faster. Yeah. It's so much faster. It's like I said before, me, you know, doing this, that speed there is closer to the speed of the pistol than the speed of the pistol is to this glass cracking. I think we made that comparison last time. We said like someone throwing a ball was yeah. closer to the nine mil than the nine mil was to the... Exactly, yeah. Well, there we go. I don't necessarily think we learned anything new, but it was very interesting to convert numbers written on the screen into actual visual comparison. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's just yeah. like really nice to see a visual comparison of what's going on. Although hopefully, if you haven't seen the previous videos, maybe you didn't know that a bullet was going to lose to a glass crack. Yeah, I mean, unless you know the speed of bullets and glass cracking, how could you possibly... I only know because I'm a slow-mo guy. Well, I'm wearing a lab coat. <laughs> For scientists. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, found it interesting. Feel free to share it with people who might enjoy that kind of thing. We'll see you next time and uh, subscribe if you like slow-mo. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now. Let's do with some sunglasses. If you're looking for something else to watch, feel free to head over to the second channel where I've just uploaded a video about our new one petabyte storage server.